no, I'm sorry. This is gonna be the episode where I kill everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's Mark. It's Mark, Charlie. Let's go save him. We're just running. We're on a full sprint to save Mark. Ooh. A coin. Yeah, put it, put it in your pocket. Let's go. We've got Mark to save. Mark. Hey, Mark. Yeah, we don't know where he is. At this point, Charlie is the Funky Bunch. Locked. No. No. Charlie, let's go. Let's go. Let's get away from it. We don't need it. I could use that. Can I get up there somehow? Maybe from this side? I can make that. Yeah, I know you can. You athletic <laughs> specimen. Look at him jump over that like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Alright, pull, pull, pull. Just pull it. Just pull it through here. Now, where do I have to go with this, is my question. Potentially there? Oh no, there's a spot here that has no barbed wire. That's probably where I should be going. Release. I'm coming, Mark! Lon, it's on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that go through there. Nope. That looks creepy. I can't jump over this and just get out. Seriously, this is my way out. Yeah, I have to do a little climbing, but this is the way out. Even though I can't leave now because I've got Mark. Oh, there's so much happening. Hello? It's the water. There's the water. Charlie, let's just stop here and take a little break. Look at the moon and the water. Think about how nice a summer day would be here. But we're not here on a summer day. We're here on a rainy, horrible day with a serial killer who has so far, that was an animal, who has so far killed roughly 183 people? So... So we're feeling good. Another coin. Very important, these coins. Oh, he's watching me. Oh, it's a dog. Please just be a dog. It sounds like a dog. Don't be a wolf. Be a, be a fun, a fun little dog that I can just pet and have a good time. Yeah, it's a dog. It's a dog. See, it sounded, it sounded very nice. No entry. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized. Okay, well, I can't go anywhere. Maybe here. Uh, 
Blood and Sonic. Oh, he's got a collar, but he looks mean. Uh... Oh. Yeah, fucking fetch. Oh, Charlie. I would have turned the dog against this guy. That's what I would have done. Magic. I would have spoken to him. Let the dog know that I mean it. No harm. But this crazy guy, this serial killer, means him and everyone else a whole bunch of harm. Oh, so I could have gone every possible direction and made it right here. Yeah, we go to this elevator that he has probably planned for me to go to. Watch the time. We get over that. This? Yep, 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 yep. This up here. I'm actually going to take a little look here because there's probably something up high. Maybe not. I'm going to jump back down. I'm going to go across. Okay, get ready to button mash. It always means mash some button. I guess except for this time. This time it does not mean mash button. You're fine, you're fine. You've survived much worse. No, no, it's, oh, it's Mark, it's Mark, it's Mark. We're good, we're good. I, I elbowed him. I knew it was Mark and I still chose to elbow him. Charlie, you're alive. We broke a ribs. Oh no, I've... Charlie, I... I thought you were dead. I nearly was. I'm sorry for that. I, I thought... How the hell did you make it out here? Yeah, good to see you too, mate. I nearly got fried, you know. I know. We saw it. You saw it? What the hell does that mean? How exactly did you get out of that? Where are the others? Mark. Oh, no. Because... I think it was Aaron told him that she heard the recording that said that it was, it was like Charlie in the recording saying that he brought his team there to be killed. And she told Mark and everyone else about that recording, and now Mark got out of being burned alive. Oh, no. Bad news. A bad news. We were all separated trying to get out. Demet has the entire place rigged with traps. We follow right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Demet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually... <sighs> I never thought I'd say this again. Yeah, but you still need your cigarettes, man. Uh, then I just go right next to the, the water over there. A cheeky little smoke break, and we'd be good to go. But nope, I have to go deeper into the serial killer's lair and try not to die. That's all I can do. Jesus. No, I'd just go right here. This is where I'd go. This is... See, I'd go right here. I'd sit down. See, you could just jump into the water here and swim away. Assume everyone else is dead and just go. But no. They can't know that.
Okay, this looks like there. This looks like I should go up here. Very slowly, I should go up here. <laughs> Something gonna pop out somewhere? Are they gonna do that to me now? So I feel like by the end of playing, maybe not this one, but maybe like the next one, um, I think I'll be impervious to jump scares. Nothing will frighten me then. Oh, we just have an office full of goodies. A cigarette! Hold on it! Take it! I got my card on me still. I'm gonna find a pack of cigarettes, won't I? Nope, just a note. Patient's name, Monday, Hector. Yep, physician Charles Brown, MD. I saw Hector, seven-year-old male, in my office today. He was accompanied by his mother, who informed me that Hector is complaining of feeling sick and very tired. Upon examining Hector, he appears to be mildly undernourished. He is an underweight and has very pale skin. Mother also prescribed two milligrams diazepam tablets to take up to three times a day when required. And then a lot more. So he's been trying to get a cigarette the entire game, and there's one there. Yeah, it's slightly used, but <laughs> I feel like in this situation, you just kind of go for it. Oh, another one of these. What? Okay, hold on. All right, I have a yard word. If this game ends in space, like, like if this uh, Dumet guy all of a sudden sends a rocket up to space with one of us in it, it's like, oh, choose who dies here. That's not where I would have expected this game to go. So how would he acquire a rocket? Are those the only things in here? Yeah, they are. Let's... Oh, no, he's frozen. <sighs> right now I simply run and I jump across here. I push this down. <laughs> So I did that for no reason, or? Where do I need to go with this? I feel like usually these are here for a reason. Maybe to get up on top of this? Possibly. I'm gonna go check and see if this door is open first. Probably locked. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, good. I need to find a way up. Well, luckily, Lonnet was already on it. We got our box here. Worry not, Mark. Okay, are those pool tables? No, those are not pool tables. Those look like saws. That's a saw. Those are saws. Yep. Nope. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I did too. Scared the shit out. Uh, whose clothes are these? I mean, you scared him off by panicking, most likely.
Okay, well, at least these are just, uh, you know, like autopsy tables or something. So that's good. How's your head? Two victims discovered with heads switched. Oh, fantastic. Another gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of Dalton, Georgia. The two victims are believed to be the latest in the homicidal spree of the imaginary killer. Alongside uh, the two victims, FBI agent Monday reportedly counted multiple repurposed body parts at the crime scene that appeared to be from past victims. Monday described the uh, macabre anim animatronics uncovered as deranged creations. No, they're art. Okay, according to this guy, they're art. Not this guy, but the... Yeah, the guy who made them, their art, that are an insult to victims' humanity. DNA is yet to confirm if they are, in fact, the missing body parts of previous victims. Oh, they are. They are... We're jumping in the freezers to preserve our bodies? Is that what we're doing? There's a chance that this guy doesn't know that we're here. I think this may be actually be the first time where he doesn't know. If that's possible. Oh, now he knows. Now he knows. Where if we don't do like Scooby Doo and take his mask off at the end, fuck. The guy goes, I would have gotten to 200 if it wasn't for you meddling kids and your dumb Stay. boss. Stay. Go. Yeah, that thing popped up right when he was looking at it. On it, on it, we're on it, we're on it, on it. No, oh, on it. I swear I did that right. Oh, oh on it. Stabbed, he's stabbed. Now he's on the death table. This is the table of death. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, oh. Gonna, ah, that was the premonition. I saw that. I saw this in the in the picture. Don't pull him up. Don't pull. Don't hoist him. Oh, he's hoisting him. Oh, he has been hoisted. because I mistimed pressing a button. Mark. Mark, you honestly might be the last one. Oh, no. Mark. Escape to the lighthouse. Escape the curing facility. Can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I feel like the end the end is going to be coming, but I'm going to have to save the end for tomorrow because you know, Lonit Lonit's dead. Kate's dead. Uh Aaron's dead. Jamie is potentially dead. That's 4 out of 5. We have to save Mark. <laughs> 